In this video I would like to show some of the blessed weapons I use. Um, I have to say I'm making this with a little bit of apprehension, like my guides think it's a, well, it will do more good than harm to make this video. I sincerely hope they're right, because weapons are dangerous things and they can be used, well, for good or for ill. Um, also, as with all objects I've shown before, the amulets and the talismans, they're basically teachers because ultimately you should be able to do anything which the tool can do by yourself. Okay, first one I want to show is this one. It's a Tibetan burial axe or knife. So in uh, Tibetan culture the uh, body is cut up with something like this and then fed to the birds. Um, so this is meant not only to cut up the physical body but also to cut up the energetical body and to cut all in a way you could say strings which are still connecting it to um, yeah, to its previous life, which are blocking it from uh, being free to reincarnate or actually or even to go to uh, Nirvana. So, because this weapon can, in a way, cut the, uh, yeah, the structures of the aura and of the energy body, including the meridians, it is a very, very dangerous thing to use. And yeah, if you're just carelessly laying this, lying this thing around or waving it around because its energetic blade extends much further than the physical blade. So if you look here, like this is the end of the physical blade, but the energy cuts until about here. So it is a lot bigger energetically than it is physically. So try to think of that when you are working with a with a blessed object that the physical reputation is just uh, reposition representation is just a symbol for their real power so this is a very good tool if you're having problems with uh, in a way dead people or spirits of the dead who need to be further dismembered to yeah be able to move on or to pass on or to at least stop bothering or preying upon the living. So Tibetan burial axe, I can really advise that one. This one you have in lots of variants. It is basically a wand. I'll show it a little bit close to the camera. And the interesting part of it is basically the spiral. Because how you work with a wand is it has the sharp end, which is projecting the energies. And the rest is in a way gathering energies. So what you want to do is you want to initiate a certain energy. Like, okay, I want a transformative energy to come out of this end. So you start putting in the transformative energy with your own hand and the spiral will then pull in energies from the environment from the surrounding area and will focus it so it is a little bit like hand is light bulb this is laser scalpel <laughs> so energies are here but the energies get focused and amplified by using the spiral wand um, used to have another better one but I gave that away I think or I lost it I don't remember what happened to it but it's very important that it has in a way a receiving crystal spiral and projection crystal this is just a cheap one ideally you want to have one which have stones like a sapphire for instance which can really empower it much more than uh, than this one. This is actually a quite cheap, low-grade wand. But it does the job. It's good enough for uh, what I usually have to do with it. So very good for creating transformative energy, for 
uh, transforming the spirit or the curse or whatever the problem is. You can also use it for healing actually. Then we get to something much more tricky. Um, this is again a Tibetan object and it is meant for um, fighting against demonic spirits. So the burial axe is very much yeah, working on the lower astral. Uh, this is working on the higher astral. So you cannot actually kill a greater spirit with it or even harm a greater spirit with it. But yeah, lots of other spirits like parasitic spirits and um, yeah, all kinds of yeah, troublesome entities, they are quite afraid of something like this. Um, so this is in the shape of, um, uh, yeah, of a Tibetan dagger, but yeah, many traditions have something similar, whether it's a shamanic tradition or a Christian tradition, doesn't really matter. Uh, the important thing is that it carries the proper blessing. So if you want to look at the energy very specifically, you will see that it has a very broad range of energies and the energies which are in a way embedded in it are very much like very bright white light. So it's a very uh, disruptive, destructive energy which in a way uh, causes the spirit's energy body to lose cohesion. So in a way by stabbing them with this, they lose their emotions, they lose their thoughts, they lose their focus and yeah, they kind of dissipate. And yeah, of course in time they will coagulate again. But yeah, forcing them to dissipate and to coagulate, it takes a few days for them. They don't like it very much. So it's a relatively active deterrent also so but yeah as i said you cannot actually um, nothing is ever completely destroyed things are just yeah forced to transform by using this and last but not least something to um, help with simple magic, mantras and uh, similar things. Um, also works slightly but not very good with elemental magic. This is a blessed knife or dagger. And um, this is one I actually was uh, given by my uncle. Um, if you're making one yourself try to use a blood ritual to do that, to really bind it to you. And this is close enough, it is yeah, bound to my yeah, family. So it is not actually yeah, bound to my deceased uncle that much, but yeah, it will serve my family and this way I can also pass it on to my children. But if you make one specifically for you, use blood magic to bind it and to empower it so it will work better with you uh, than otherwise. So this listens to me, but it is not as much part of my energy body as it would be if I would have used the blood ritual to make it part of my uh, myself. So uh, this has symbols on it. And these symbols are in a way listening to my spirit. So this um, dagger in a way um, transforms reality in accordance to the wishes of my spirit. And by doing so it can counter other symbols. So it is very powerful against that specific type of magic, against chaos magic, against symbol magic. Um, by in a way creating its own sphere of reality around it. And it can also affect other symbols and you can in a way, if you have a curse which is comprised out of uh, a series of symbols or, uh, or a very complex symbol in itself, then such a blade can actually yeah, connect to it and move it and eventually even move it out of the energy body back into symbol space and to remove its influence from this world. 
So also very useful against uh, mantras, which are also another form of symbol magic. Um, basically, this one has symbols engraved on it, but any knife made with blood magic should work if you do it in the right way. Um, the blade in itself, the knife in itself, it has already the symbolism of, in a way, cutting things out, removing things, uh, disintegrating things. So the knife in itself is the symbol. If you use black magic to bind it to you, it will respond to your spirit and you can use it as a tool. Um, even if you don't know a lot of symbol magic yourself, with something like this, you can have a decent chance of uh, removing things. As I said before, with all these things, be very, very careful because they have an effect even if you're not touching them, if they're just laying around. Um, you don't want to be walking back and forth in front of them or next to them because you will damage your own energy body and get very tired, to say the very least, by trying to regenerate your energy body. Okay, um, so interesting objects. Make sure that they're blessed and act in the world you want them to act. It uh, doesn't matter what you have, it's a rattle, it's a drum. Uh, you can just attune them to a certain energy level on which you want to work. And then the drum or the rattle will also can remove curses or um, do other things on that level. Because it is very much about intention, not only about knowledge, but the knowledge and skill of your spirit, the intention of your spirit, which is strong and stable and ultimately will reshape reality and reshape your client's energy body. 